you in the worst mood I be one cleaner than your church shoes I really point to just to hurt you I so for today's video, not only did I want to just create a look for you guys, but I did happen to go to Ulta the other day and pick up some new products. And I say new because they're not new to the beauty world, but they're new to me because I'm slacking on products, um, on trying them out at least. <laughs> so yeah, I went ahead and picked up some new products. I tried them out in the video. So if you're interested in learning how to recreate this look and the products that I tried out and what I thought about them because there was some hits and then there was some misses. So if you're interested on in seeing what I thought about these products and how to recreate this look, then I'm going to go ahead and stop talking right now and let's get started with the video. Alrighty, so for the look, I'm mostly going to be using the Morphe 35B palette, which if you don't know what that one looks like, it is this very colorful palette here. It literally has like all the colors of the rainbow. So I'm mostly going to be using that one for this look and then some single shadows from Makeup Geek and maybe Morphe, but probably mostly Makeup Geek and the 35B palette. So first I'm gonna be taking this yellow shade from the Morphe 35B palette. I'm gonna start by taking that color into the crease. And I am just going in with a G17 brush, and I'm just taking that into the crease, windshield wiper motions, and then blending out in circular motions. this color you're just gonna have to build it up some of the colors in this palette work really well and others you really have to just work with them and build it up and just to make that color pop a little bit more I'm gonna be going in with lemon drop for makeup geek this one um, has a little bit of shimmer to it not completely to where it's a total glittery shimmer shade but it has just a little bit of shimmer for a little bit of sparkle in it. And the Makeup Geek shadows are honestly very, very pigmented. That's why I like them. Um, I really want to buy a lot more. I just, it takes a lot to buy a single shadow, you know? Because you're paying for one little eyeshadow. And they're like $6, which isn't bad, but some of them are more expensive than that. And I really have yet to find a coupon code for Makeup Geek, but I still love them. Alrighty then, after that I'm going to be taking Chickadee from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to be following with the yellow, like I did with the yellow. And I'm going to be taking that one into the crease as well. And with this one, since the yellow is very, very pigmented, I'm just going to have to really, really build and blend this one into the crease. Alrighty, then I'm just going to go back with the brush I used for the yellow, and I'm just going to blend the orange and the yellow colors together. Then I'm going to be taking this orange color right here from the palette, and yes, ignore that the one next to it is missing. It, I guess it wasn't stuck on very well, so it fell out, and I just left it out, and then I dropped it, and when I dropped it, it broke on the floor, so yeah. I have like the worst of luck with palettes, you guys, like, if you've watched any of my other videos, like, probably any palette I show or like I either drop something on it into it I dig my nail into it I drop the palette break the palette it came broken like I have literally the worst of luck but anyways I'm just gonna take that orange color with the same brush that already has the previous orange color swirl it around in there and then take that into my crease and as you can probably tell by now I'm literally just doing these same motions with every color that I add into the crease and that's because I'm trying to build up somewhat of a smoky eye and that's literally just the easiest way to go about it um, I did drag up the yellow a little bit more because that color is gonna peek through but all the other ones are just gonna really stay in the crease and then work their way out slowly Alrighty, and now I'm going to go back with the brush that had the yellow previously. And now I'm actually going to go and add some more of the yellow color into it again. Then next I'm going to be going in with Simply Marlena from Makeup Geek. 
I'm gonna be going in with a small blending brush from Morphe. It doesn't have a number, but it's just a little blending brush. It's not too big, not too little. Um, and I'm just gonna be taking that into the crease as well. And that one's gonna be focused more um, just in the actual crease itself. No, I'm not gonna worry on blending this one out too, too much. So with this one, you can just go in and blend it more straight with the brush straight forward rather than with it up like this. Alrighty, now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add some more orange onto my brush that I was using the orange and build that color in just a little bit more. Cause now that I have that pink on there, this orange is gonna pop just a little bit more. Then next I'm gonna be taking this red shade from the Morphe 35B and I'm gonna be taking that with a M503 and I'm going to start packing that color onto the lid. Yeah, change of plans, I don't like that brush. Um, and the color, it's cool, but I'm not gonna waste my time too much on that one. But since I guess that color didn't really work, I guess it really helped to be, uh, to build more depth on the look. Um, Cause I really thought it was gonna be dark enough and or I, at least that I could build it enough on the lid and blend it out, but it's not as dark as I wanted. So now I'm gonna go in with the uh, Kat Von D Serpentina. I'm assuming is how you say it, that palette. Um, I got this for Christmas. I got it for my birthday last year and I've never actually used it. Just because if you look at the color scheme, um, I'm blinding you guys, but <laughs> if you look at the color scheme, it's very bold, so it's kind of hard to use. But I'm gonna be going in with this red shade right here called Blood Milk. And I think what I'm actually gonna do is try to take it with my finger and then go back in with that same M503 brush and blend it out, but I'm gonna take it with my finger straight to the lid. And if you look at that, like, look how, that's, yeah, it's blood. The <laughs> blood milk is right. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the color I'm looking for. Look at that, guys. You can already see how red it is. So I'm just packing that on with my finger. I'll probably use my pinky for the next eye because that's, I put a lot of product on. Alrighty then, I'm just gonna take that brush and start blending that out. And I'm actually kind of, I'm very satisfied with where it's at at the moment. Oh boy. I can already tell this color is gonna stain my lid. Alrighty, now I'm going back in with the same brush I used for the yellow color and just blending that all out. I'm going back with the brush I used for the orange and blending that all out just to leave any more of the orange product that I had on the brush already onto the eye. All right, so first I'm gonna be taking the LA Girl Pro Face, uh, Pro Prep, not Pro Face, um, primer, and I'm just gonna be taking that onto my face as my primer, and I will go back and finish up the eyes after I'm done with the face. Then I'm gonna be taking the number seven or NO7. I don't, not really sure how to pronounce this brand, but it will come out. Oh, it seems like it's thick. Hmm. But anyways, I'm taking it in the shade Honey, and I'm going to, whoa, it feels thick. Oh, I don't think that's my color. Uh, I don't think that's my color at all, actually. It looks way too cool tone for me. I don't really think I'm warm, but I really don't think I'm cool either. I think I'm like, I think I'm literally just neutral in the middle. Yeah, I'm, this is gonna make me look ashy or dirty. But 
we'll blend it out and see where it goes. And it says this is supposed to be medium coverage, but on the box I think it says that it can be uh, medium to full. So I'm going to go in with my Y6 and blend that out. Oh, you know what? Might not be too bad. Hmm. I might have actually did good and picked the right color. I think it's definitely medium coverage. I don't know about full, for at least for how thick it felt. I feel like it should be covering more. But on the skin, I definitely would have to say it feels very like cool, like it feels very refreshing. Um, I did use like three pumps, but the pumps come out very small. This is a brand I didn't realize was drugstore. They're kind of expensive for a drugstore brand. Like this bottle was like, $18. That's half the price of a freaking brand name that you can get from Sephora or Ulta or anywhere else. I'm thinking about going in with another layer to be honest because I'm more of a full coverage kind of person. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with another layer. Either it's just really my color and I can't tell or the coverage just isn't what I want. Don't really know. But I'm just gonna go in and conceal. Then I'm just gonna go in with my RCMA powder and set my under eye area. Then I'm gonna bake the rest of my face, or I guess you could say set the rest of my face with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And then I'm just gonna dust off that powder from underneath my eyes and the rest of my face. Alrighty, then I'm just gonna go in on the lower lash line and add all the colors that I had on the top to the bottom. Alrighty, so you can probably see my mirror now but um for this part i have to be close to my mirror it's for a liner um if not i can't do it on camera but i wanted to try to do it on camera um i'm basically going to be taking the nyx vivid brights ah, i drop it okay but yeah i'm going to be taking the nyx the vivid brights and i have the yellow and the blue one the blue one is vivid sapphire and the yellow is vivid halo um, I'm gonna go in with the blue one first and basically what I'm gonna do is just create a wing just a normal wing the blue one I have used before however the yellow one I have not so I don't know how opaque it's gonna be and if I'm actually gonna like it but the blue one I've used it before and it wasn't as dark as I thought it was gonna be but I do like it and I like to start by doing the bottom line and then going from the top and connecting it. I can't start out here and then go back. I can't do that. I have to go back from the beginning. The only thing I do have to say about these liners is the brush is very thick. So at the end of your wing, you have to be very careful. make sure and layer it too because if you try to go back and do another layer once it's dry it's gonna make it more likely to crack so just try to do it while it's still wet with the second layer Alrighty, and now with the yellow I'm just gonna go in and line the blue Then I'm gonna go in with Champagne Pop in my inner corner. And then I'm gonna go in with the yellow liner again and just create three little dots on the inner corner. Alrighty, and I believe that is it for the eyes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mask. And for the lips, two products that I bought are the um, NYX lingerie, um, I guess they're liquid lips. Um, I bought the one in the shade Cashmere Silk and Bedtime Flirt. 
Cashmere Silk looks a little bit more brown, which is this one. This looks a little bit more pink. But I did swatch them, and this is the the top one's Bedtime Flirt, and the bottom one is Cashmere Silk. Um, I think I'm going to go with Bedtime Flirt. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that, and I guess that'll be the end of the look. The lip isn't as dark on my lips as it was on my swatch. It looks it looks a little bit more like red toned on my arm than it does on my lips. But it's still really pretty. Um I guess I'm just gonna have to see how it wears. So yeah. And to just set the face, I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my face with the Mario Badescu um rose water spray. And that is the finished look. Alright, so my camera did die as I uh, was finishing applying the lipstick. But after I was done applying the lipstick, I went ahead and applied a couple more dots on the inside. And then I applied some dots along the bottom of the winged liner. And funny thing, I was waiting for my battery to recharge. And um, so I, I got on Snapchat and I was taking pictures of the look for my Snapchat. And if you have me on Snapchat, then you've already heard this. But, um, so I got on Pandora and I put on The Weekend Station, as I normally do whenever I'm showing off my looks. Well, a Weekend song actually played, and the song that played was Starboy. So not only was it the song Starboy, but it, you know, it was the album. And I was recording, and then I went back and watched the recording, and I'm just looking at it. And then I actually pay attention to it, and I realized that the colors I used and incorporated are the colors of the Starboy album. And I was just like, oh my god, like what a coincidence that that's the first song that comes on and I kept it and I was showing off the look to that song and those are the colors that I used. I don't know, I thought that was just a funny weird coincidence. I don't know if anybody else thinks that's weird, but it happened. All right, so for my first impressions, um. I really, really, really loved the liner, the yellow liner, like the opacity of it. I didn't think that I would like, like, I thought that I was going to have to go over it more than once, but I didn't have to, like, at all whatsoever. It comes out very vivid. I mean, where it says vivid brights, they're not lying. So, I really like the liner. Um, oh, I also, after I applied the yellow liner, I went back with this NYX uh, retractable, retractable pencil. And I went and put that on the lower lash line. It came out very bold too, so I like that. Um, that was also something I was trying out first impression. I just didn't get it on camera. Um, and then the the NYX, the lingerie lip, liquid lips, I, I think I like them. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the texture yet. Um, like actually the feel on my lips, but I like the color. Ooh. <laughs> and the pigmentation was really good, so I like that. Um, let me see, what else did I try out? I think that was it that I tried out. Um, I have to say the only miss for me would be the foundation. Um, I had to use four pumps to get the coverage that I wanted. And I'm not about that because for a drugstore foundation, I don't think it should be $18 and I had to use four pumps. Um, it's a good medium coverage. I wouldn't say full coverage just because I had to use that many pumps. Um, but then I did read that it says it's best to apply with your fingers or a sponge. And I used a brush, so that could be a little bit of the problem too. Um, so I could get, give it another go with the sponge, but a beauty blender literally soaks up like half the product, if not more. So I feel like I would have to use like eight pumps for it. And you know, for drugstore, I, I don't think I should be having to do that. So I don't know, I just think that one was a miss for me. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and before you leave, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also, while you're at it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I know you see it. It's right there. It's a big red button somewhere. Somewhere right there. So hit it if you're not subscribed already, and while you hit subscribe, go ahead and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload a new video to my channel. And um, yeah, so until next time, guys. Bye. Bye.